Hey everyone, this is Jenny from Homestead Corner and today I am working on a Texas style pulled pork in the crock pot. This is super easy and it takes no time at all to put this together. So let's get started. So this recipe is super easy. It does have quite a few different ingredients in it. You're going to need some oil. I like to use olive oil. You could use vegetable oil, whatever um, you like for oil. Uh, barbecue sauce. Um, I like sweet baby rays, but you can use any kind that you like. Apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of chicken broth, some chili powder, some mustard, um, thyme garlic, onion, and your roast. I'm going to use a pork loin because they were on sale and this was super inexpensive. It was $5.78. It was um, $1.79 a pound. Um, and you can use like any pork roast really. Uh, if you have big pieces of fat, this isn't too bad. This is pretty thin. But um, if you have big pieces of fat, you're just going to want to um, cut the bigger chunks off so it's not too greasy because you're cooking this all together all at once. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So in my slow cooker, I am gonna put about a teaspoon of olive oil in here. Just about a teaspoon in the bottom of the slow cooker. And then I'm gonna add my pork loin. And we're just going to pull this baby right out and throw it right in the bottom of the pan. This is about three and a half pounds, and you're going to want something right in that range. Three and a half, four pounds um, is great uh, for this recipe. You could beef up the liquids a little bit if you wanted to go with a much bigger roast, or if you wanted to go with something smaller, you could kind of cut it down a little bit as well. And then we're going to add a cup a barbecue sauce to this. <clears throat> we can get it out. That's about all I had left was a cup. Okay, and then we're going to add one tablespoon of mustard. And you can use yellow mustard or brown mustard, whatever you like. It's really your preference. It's going to change it up a little bit. I like to use this kind of, it's a little spicy brown mustard. Just not too spicy, but it's good. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Get that in there. We are going to add a teaspoon of chili powder. Again, you can beef up the chili powder a little bit. It's just, if it's too spicy, the kids will not touch it. And we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of thyme to this. This one come out that way. Just about a half a teaspoon, not too much on this. Time, because time is pretty strong. And 
And then we're going to add about two cloves of chopped up garlic. You can mince this or chop it or however you like it. I don't mind little chunks in it though. So I'm just going to add that right in there. And then we're going to add one good size onion chopped up and you can cut these way smaller i like the chunks in there the oniony chunks so you can cut these to whatever size you like they can be really tiny um, and you wouldn't hardly notice they were in there if you cut them real small so we're just going to add this right in and this is just one good size onion chopped up so we'll add that in there and then we're just going to give all this goodness a little stir in here Trying to get all the liquids all mixed together a little bit. The best you can. I mean, you got a big roast in there. It's kind of not the easiest. And then we're going to turn this baby up on high. And we're going to get it started. We're going to let this cook. If you want to cook it on high, you can cook it for five to six hours. It should be done. And then you could just shred the meat and, um, and let it, I let it cook for another 30 minutes after I shred the meat. But, um, I'm going to cook this on high for probably three hours and then I'm going to turn it down on low. So this will be ready tonight for dinner and I won't have to worry about it. So, um, I will bring you back when we get it all cooked up. Okay, so this has been cooking on high for about three hours, and I am just going to flip this over a little bit and stir it up a little, get some of those juices all around. And I'm going to turn this down to low and let this cook till dinner time. Okay, so this little dollin has been cooking all day, and you can come in here with a fork now and just shred this. Just, it just comes right apart. It is so tender, and we're just going to shred this up with a couple of forks. And there you have it. Really, this is it. We're just going to leave this to sit for about another half hour and it will be ready to put on buns or rice or whatever you like it on any way you like to eat it this you, once you shred it up it will it can get all those juices into all the pieces and this is just beautiful pulled pork this smells so good i can't wait to eat if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe We'll see you in the next video. Bye.